Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Void Train. And this fight was actually a little longer than I thought, and uh, we actually have a purple thing here. Uh, oh, there's that. Uh, I have done a little bit of work off camera, actually a lot of work. I actually have run a path on my own, just to see what kind of, or just to actually get some acid. I also did a little bit of research to see where exactly, no special one, uh, see exactly where I'm at in the storyline, and uh, apparently uh, sort of at the end of story for now. Uh, there should be another update coming out pretty soon that the storyline is going to continue on with, but until then there's not much we can do except to uh, do a little bit of researching. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the, the guns too much, just go for any like purple or better mods because I've got some of these things. Just for the sake of it, I actually want to... <sighs> Alright, let's uh... That's a pretty weak gun there. I fire rate, but still. I just want to check this one out. See what this is. Nothing. Okay, not too much here. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of tokens this time. Uh, what is this? Uh, don't really care about that or that. And I probably don't care about the gun either. Uh, do want the tokens, though. Let's see what other goods we can get. Uh, yeah, so I have done a little bit of work on the train. I have done some reorganization and decoration and stuff like that and uh, a whole bunch of resource gathering I've actually got myself to the point where I think we can get all the research done uh, like I said I went and did it in the arena I just did my, did my three rounds to get uh, the six acid and what's this ah uh, that potato whatever um, I had to get the acid and and I do have another chest, that's actually why I came out here, is to clear this out, and we can open up the chest, even though there's not going to be too much, but I'm kind of curious, since we're not getting mushrooms, what there's going to be. Uh, I haven't really had to worry about resources, because the Reflimos have been doing everything for me. Oh wow, well, they, they are really changed here. Uh, what else did I do? That was about it, I didn't really do too much else, I just wanted to get the ass, and I came here, and there was actually acid in the, the menu machine. And I think I managed to get five, so I got 16 acid total. And I think I need 17 to do all the research to finish up. But my goal today basically is to get the full length of the train. And yeah, there's not too much in here this time. Uh, it's common, I don't care about that. I'm not worried about the seeds or leather. We'll take the iron, no. Anyway, uh, let's go head back to the train and see what we got. How many quick tokens did I get? Nine. Wow. Alright, cool. Uh, but yeah, I have gone ahead and uh, done a lot of uh, processing and stuff. I've got thickeners and I do have some sealants left over. And I got, like I said, I got the ass. I got a whole bunch of chemicals and wood and coal. No, oh, yeah, I already checked that out. Uh, I've already opened that up, and I think that was about it. It wasn't too much here. Um, but yeah, I was gonna try to go for a fourth round on the arena, but it was getting kind of. Getting kind of grindy, like, uh, get to the, that last tanky boss, and oh wow, it's just, you know, you stand there for five minutes, just unloading clip after clip after clip, and just would not go down. And then you think the round's over, and you find out there's a bug sort of clipped into the wall behind you. Anyway, uh, this is our new, the Reflimo here, uh, not really worried about him, if anything, I want to try to get, uh, get one working on the lab. But here's what I've done with the train, I have cheated a little bit and I did a little bit of research and gone ahead and sort of got up to here and that was just to get some new decoration and I actually found uh, a couple of things. One is this, uh, the ship lamp and I actually like this. It's sort of a, a floral lamp and it it light uh, it reflects light off the roof there and it sort of gets more of a brightness in here even though it's not really bright. Can't do too much with the floor but I did get this. This is actually kind of Kind of nice, a little bit of color. Uh, but yeah, organization, I have done a lot of stuff. This is the lab area here. I have the lab two there, lab one. Uh, I got powders, compounds, that's gonna be like your resin and thickeners, and that's for like the sturdy boards and the sturdy leather and stuff like that. Uh, chemicals, zinc, uh, fat. Uh, fat I will have to start making because uh, that's used for other chemicals. And it's actually fairly cheap, it was just, what was it? Uh, chemicals and organic, which is everywhere all right so yeah then uh that, that there's the leather uh i didn't pick up any leather uh the basic chemicals and look at that 16 acid now i think to get everything i need to get to 
basically what I want to try to do today is uh, so that's what I'm at here. This is traction three. This is going to get one more platform to the train. And as you can see, that's going to need three mineral oil and two le uh, rubber. Then I have to get these two down, which is pretty simple. I've got everything I can do to that, make that, depending on what the bandages need. But I think the bandages are going to need the sturdy leather. And this is basic stuff here. And then traction four is also another three mineral oil and two rubber. Uh, this also has the diesel diesel efficiency there. Uh, some extra storage wouldn't be a big, wouldn't be a bad idea, but we don't really need it right now because uh, there's not too much we can actually do at the moment. Uh, so I believe I needed. Let's actually stop turning off the light because uh, I want to try to use the reflimo to see if I can get the extra uh, resources I need to finish this. Uh, this would be nice, but realistically. Because I'm going to need five acid there. Don't really need that. Uh, it's just diesel efficiency. That's the one I'm hitting the afterburner. But I rarely do that because you never know when a minefield's going to show up. Uh, that's storage. So it's not that big of a deal. This is basic stuff. And basic stuff there. And traction three, which would be three and two. So I ha that's going to be ten. So let me get that stuff together. And I think I need... Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually un research all this stuff, get it all unlocked, and we'll start building a train, because I have, have an idea what I want to do with the last two cars there. So let me do that, and I'll be right back. Oh, yes, I never finished giving you the tour. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that was a lab area here, and so that's all basic stuff here. And then I got the workbench area here, so I got the workbench and uh, workbench 2 and the workbench 1. And then I've got steel parts, brass parts, just got single chests for those right now. Uh, two for iron parts, two for copper parts, not that we need it. I have wood chests here. I have been trying to get a little bit of decoration with like shelving and stuff like that, seeing what kind of decoration I have, just like the, uh, the lazy paint that left the ladder sitting in front of a lamp and stuff like that, but uh, it's kind of nice. And then over in the smelting area, I've decided to go with two smelters. I was thinking about having one just going only copper or iron, one only steel or one iron, one copper, yes. That's right. Uh, and then I got the smelter two over here, which is going to be doing the steel or the brass. And then I got scrap there, iron here, uh, copper, brass, steel, and I have a coal chest here. And then over here I got the water, and then everything else in the back stay the same. But anyways, uh, let me get back to it, and I'll be right back. Okay, just about ready here. Uh, I've got... Uh, Food is not food is just about done. I actually need that for another uh, satiety or whatever the, the the hunger thingy. All right, so I have everything on, I believe, and I should have enough. Got seven acid left, and less than I need to do something. I uh, kind of used my used one of the reflimo that I have at the lab here. He has a chance of producing an extra item. Uh, I actually crafted five, and I just happened to get the sixth one I needed, so it worked out. Anyway, so let's do some research here. Uh, I did uh, already research the bandages because I need the bandages for the next tier here. But there we go. Traction 3. So we have 15 platforms now. And then we go here. And this is 25% max health. And now it give me more health in case I ever miss my armor. And then we have ammunition, so this gets me larger ammunition boxes. I'm sure they're very expensive. And it's only really worth it if I need the special ammo, which I don't, haven't really used much. Okay, and then field doctor. All medicines restore more health. Not that I've used them, but yeah, there we go. So it's like bandages, I guess, and other things. And then all dishes are healthier. That's what I need the food for. So that researches that, and this should take us to the very end, the last one, the old infinity symbol, one plus one to max train length. So it should get me two more platforms, and I believe I can actually make another car. Now there is some other decor stuff I can unlock, random floor furniture, uh, lamp, uh, locomotive cabin, which I don't even know which one that would be, because I think I've got them all. Wagon walls. Uh, need bolts, iron, and copper. Let's actually see what we can get with this stuff. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Uh, I also do have nine tokens that I gotta go and uh, make use of. So let's 
do that while we're at it. So, uh, I'm just gonna do. Hang on, I'm trying to think of what I was gonna do now. Uh, hang on. I remember. Uh, I was actually gonna grab a few things over here. I gotta grab some iron. Grab that. We'll grab some copper. And then we're gonna see what kind of things we're gonna unlock. I don't want to waste too many resources because I do actually have to use some for uh, what I need. Uh, I had to use some of the food that I have have for the reflimo, so I only have five pieces. So uh, they do have uh, organics for two scraps. So I might pick two of those up. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go back over here because I got all this stuff unlocked and see what kind of stuff we can get. Like what kind of a locomotive cabin this would give me. Kind of curious. Uh, ship closed. Okay. And let's see what's next here. Uh, oh, wire and leather for the lights and leather for the wood. Uh, yeah, okay. I need a few more things. Hang on. Okay. Comes in handy when you have everything all, all ready to go and organized so you know where it all is. Okay, so let's go back over here. See what kind of light I get. Because, uh, I want to try to find a good light if I can. Uh, luxury wall lamp. Uh, interesting. Uh, my issue with the lighting in this game is it all tends to be, like, a yellowy kind of color. So, let's see what kind of wall furniture we get here. So, if I haven't seen much, I like the, the Raider wall shelf. It's not too bad. Oh, what is that? Have a look at that. The problem with the wall hangings is you could have the, uh, the... That's kind of cool. Problem with stuff like this is uh, they actually do need a space, so it's kind of right about here. It's about halfway through, so you can't really have something sort of draped behind a, a station, for instance. Anyway, uh, enough rambling. Let's see what other we get, goodies we get. All right, and environmental object. I have no idea what this is. I'm guessing like this is like a bucket or. Uh, a bin in or a grand piano. <laughs> oh, that actually might come in handy. Oh, because uh, it's got sort of an idea for one of the wagons. All right, and let's see what kind of wagon wall we get. Raider train. Oh, okay, we're getting the, the car sides now. Cool. Maybe I can get something better than the one we have there. Another lamp. A floor light. Ship lamp three. Interesting. Alright, next. This is researching with BC. We are decor hunting. Alright, so what kind of furniture we get here? And a luxury bed that we can't use. Nice. And we're down to the last two pages. Okay, so we're almost done here. Uh, random locomotive we have I'm sure it's going to be a luxury one. A raider. Hmm. Raider open. Okay, I'm not too worried about that. And a wall hanging. Almost down here. A luxury shelf. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, and then another piece of random furniture. So much easier than trying to hunt down mushrooms. Ship stool. Eh, uh, I've seen better. It's like hunting through, hunting, hunting through fleet markets and garage sales trying to find something that, you know, be comfortable with. Okay. A little bit of class there. Oh, I need more bolts. Do I have more bolts? I should have. I do. I do, I do, I do. See, I planned ahead. I said I got the stations there. I might as well get them working. And we are on the last page of decor. Alright, wagon well, wall. Kind of curious what the luxury one looks like. Uh, ship wagon walls, one. Okay, so it's just closed wagon walls or something. Uh, another cabin. Let's have a look at this. One, and. Radio closed. Random floor light. And we just got one thing left to do. Rear lamp, okay. And f this is it, round a piece of furniture. I know I could do it all at once, but I like to actually see what it is instead of having to. Mm, okay, not too bad. Uh, instead of having to go through the, the crafting book to try to figure out what 
I actually got. So let's see what we can do here. So I want to go all the way to the end here. I want to add a wagon. Okay. And then I am missing two bearings. Okay. What am I missing for bearings? Actually, I'm probably not missing anything if I have enough for bearings. Uh, bearings, I believe, were in here. Uh, iron bar and fat. See, that used to be grease. They changed a lot of, a lot of things that required f gre like grease and resin to now use fat, which you can craft. Alright, and I should have some fat. And I don't have any iron on me. But I do have iron in here. Alright, oh, that's the wrong table. Two of those. Do, 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 do. And. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was mentioning about uh, how I went with the closed walls here, I believe. I mentioned it. The reason why I did that is just because the armor plate actually covers the whole side now. So it kind of looks a little better because you can't really see all the little slits in the windows anyway. So, you know, might as well make use of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, over here. Okay, so now we go all the way to the end here. This is getting to be a long train. And there we go, we are at max length. Alright, I don't need to build any modules here. Actually, I do need to build a wall. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with the luxury. They don't really need the windows anyways. We'll put the armor plate on there. Oh, 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 come on. Where are you? There we go. Go that. Add some train armor. Alright, so now, this is a very, a very, very long train now. That's uh, wow. This goes on and on and on. So, my idea was this car here, which has the armor in. It's gonna sort of be like uh, like my man cave. It's gonna be the armory and uh, get like a little area set up for myself and try to get some nice little decorations and stuff in here. And this one here was gonna be for the Rufimos. I was gonna set them up a little, little, little. Uh, I won't say apartment, but I don't know, like a nice little place for them to live. So, I want to go through and see what I can figure out. I'm going to go with this. I'm not too sure. I don't know if I want to do that or give them hardwood floor, but uh, let me come up with something and I will be right back. Actually, before we do that, we got a slot machine to play. Now, this is what I like about like, <laughs> having these flat roofs. It's, that's one of the things I do when I'm in the void, gathering resources. I have to run across the roof and grab whatever I can. Which, on the tops, it's uh, so much easier to try to weave your way through the maze of stuff in there. Wow, this train is long. That's crazy. Uh, slot machine. Yeah, we're over here. I have nine tokens. Let's see if I can get something good besides a bomb. Uh, oh yeah, I did get the did get the prophecy. It was not a thick of the void with the plus one to everything, so if I need it. And a grenade right away. Just my luck. Maybe I can get some more guns. Okay, that is probably something I don't care about. Pretty much at the point where I'm not too worried about uh, upgrading my weapons because you know, I don't think I can do too much to them. Uh, what I did replace. I can't remember what I replaced. I believe it was the barrel on that uh, automatic one that I was using earlier. And it was definitely doing a lot better. I'm getting a lot of modules today. So I have to scrap them. Seeds. What else are we getting here? Jackpot. Ooh. No, no space. Uh, what are we talking about? I have space. And. Hey, a prophecy. What's the prophecy say? Sensor blockade. Chance of encountering sensor mines. And. Currently, they don't really do too much except for wood, chemicals, or everything. Anyway, I have a wagon to work on, so I'll bring you back when I'm done. 
Okay, I am back. It's actually um, next day or two for me. Uh, just just for finished up here, I'm actually going to take the train out into the void to show you what I've done, just because we'll have more light. Uh, I am doing a couple of crafts here. I want to do one more inventory upgrade here before we head out. Uh, so we'll go in here, and it was all the way back here. I have enough to do this. I'll give me one more slot in my storage. Uh, this will probably be the last episode until the next update comes out, which I'm expecting fairly soon. Uh, I think it's three parts or something like that. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and run with the, uh, the Thick of the Void again. And uh, go ahead and start building up the inventory again, because I am completely out of wood. I have no wood, no scrap, uh, no nothing. Alright, let me just put some stuff away. I try to get in a habit of putting, putting stuff where it belongs, so it's stay when I actually need to find it. Okay, off we go. Let's go ahead and we'll throw that one in the middle slot. More items in the void. Uh, is there anything else I'm forgetting? I don't think so. Uh, I always check that box before I leave now. I almost left one time and I left like eight ingots in there. Anyway, let's go. Going back into the 70s. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to find out. Uh, let us see, and then we can also get a, a look at this train. And my god, it is so long. Oh wow. I don't think I've seen this one before. Interesting. Well, this is definitely a new new world I haven't seen yet. No. Okay, this is a good gun. Let's see how fast I can take down that shark. Probably gone down pretty quick. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. And even this, what is that? You know, I talk about the immersion in this game and it's really how it is, like, you start seeing these things, like, I decided to go venturing one time, I think I mentioned this in a previous episode, where I was going around and I thought I'd venture off with the hooks and go check out, like, these giant swords that were sort of sticking up out of the bottom and stuff like that. It was pretty, pretty interesting, some of the things you come across. But, uh, let's get this out of the fog here so we can actually have a look at our train, see if we get some sunlight on it. And it is a long train, because I have done many looks back and forth from uh, the storage area and and the ref well, I'm going to call it the lounge, because it's like a little lounge I made for them. I hope they like it. Oh, wow, well, what is that? Looks like a section of a pyramid. It's so crazy, wow. All right. Well, we're still in the fog. Let me get a better get get into a better spot. Okay. Well, I haven't quite dealt with the shark yet. I think he's one hit away, but he's kind of hiding at the moment. But here's the train, the full length of it. There's the locomotive. This is going to be the the crafting smelting lab area here. It's going to be the gathering station. That's going to be the next state, the next wagon in our train, which is going to be the man wagon or the man cave or my personal area. Let's get this. Wait, wait hold on. Aha. Got you. I'm actually going to grab the fat this time. It'd be nice if there's a way to actually retether yourself onto this without having to actually contact the train, because I find that the, the tether takes so long to, to catch up when you're on the side of the train. Oh wow, I've never seen the underside of this before. Well, I've never really looked at it before. Okay, let's go back in... Back at this end here. I left this the way it is, because they seem to be happy with it. That is fine, so yeah, this is what I've got. I've got the armory set up in here. I've got uh, all the parts here, and then the guns are going to be here. Workbench here. I've been going with this like because I tend to like it a little bit more than the, the other ones. I was trying to like, take the luxury lamp, but... Uh, the shade did light up the top, uh, the light did light up the top here, but the shade was sort of like blocking the light from everywhere else, so I haven't really done with that, or done with that. Uh, yeah, just try to get a little bit of decor, get a little piano, even though I don't play, a little stool, writing desk, garbage can, uh, a clock, and now, I didn't realize this, this is actually real world time, for me. 
and it's going off the system clock. I didn't think it was actually going to be like an actual clock, so uh, you can keep track of how long you've been playing the game for. And ship chest and a few other things. And then we go into the Reflimo Lounge, and oh, look at that, we have cut company already. So this is where we've got a little set, area set up for them just to hang out and relax and stare at a wall and do the little things. And uh, yeah, so that's what we got for now. Until I get more decor. I swear to God, I heard something out here. And with that, I am going to carry on my merry little way. And I'm going to start gathering up as much stuff as I can. Try to get all the storage upgraded and all that. And uh, get a whole bunch of re resources uh, saved up for when the next update comes out. Which should be soon. But until then, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one. Later.